Stay focused. In this video, I'll show you how with a Raspberry Pi Zero, a phone, we can perform an HID attack. The good part is that you can customize it. You can store your own payload for different machine and monitor everything from your phone. So today we will talk about the Raspberry Pi Zero W and about a very good project that is Linux Aloha that is found by Meme, I think. I will show you the link in the description now. So basically, this project make this little thing become a very, very strong bad USB. The downfall is like, it's no more up to date, but it still work. You just have to make attention in which Pi Zero you buy. You don't buy the W20, you buy the Zero W. A story about like Wi-Fi chipset compatibility. The point is, once you flash the image in the micro SD, you can plug it in a computer, you can plug it in a phone, connect to the web interface that it will, that it will broadcast, and from there you can basically do a lot of stuff. Mainly mimic a keyboard and launch HID attack. I will show you how to install it, I will demonstrate the concept, it lets you see how powerful it is. To install the image here, we'll need a microSD and an adapter. You plug the adapter in the laptop. Here we have our SD card. I will let the link in the description. You go to release and you download the latest one. Once all of this is done, we open the Raspberry Pi Imager. You choose the model, which is a Pi Zero. Uh, we go to custom. Here you select the image you just downloaded. And for the storage, your SD card. And then And I come back when it's finished. Okay, now that the installation is finished, you take the micro SD, you take the RAS, you plug it. Oppa. Nice, and done. And here, wait, put it in the right sense. Here, if you can see, you have two USB, <coughs> you have two micro USB, one that is USB only and one that is power. So you plug it on USB. Otherwise, it, it, will, it will just power it. So USB, USB. Top. And now you plug it to your computer. Little disclaimer before, like whenever you download something, especially in this uh, cyber security niche, really uh, advice I give you is like to always read the code, the source code of what you download. Never trust blindly. So, when you plug it, you will start to have a little green light blinking. You let it some time to power up. And we can connect to his Wi Fi and open a web browser, go to the panel, and from here we can tweak a lot of settings. For example, you can change the name of the project, the serial number. You can go to the Wi-Fi setting, change the SSID, change the password, change the channel. Like you, it lets you access to a lot of things. The most important part will be this one, where there is the payload. You can save them. You can load from the pre-built one. You can write your own when finishing writing and save them to use them later. Very good UI. And here is an example of, of how it works. You plug the Raspberry Pi, you open the panel, you select the payload you want to, to run, you click on the run, and ta-da! Everything goes super smoothly, everything goes undetected, because as I said, it mimics a keyboard. And by definition, the system trusts the human. So obviously we could do way more than just opening a new URL. And I got I got two three other videos that are coming up about this little Pi Zero, but also the Pico one, his little brother. 
two very interesting pen testing object. I hope you like the concept. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe. So I also wanted to share with you this repo in which you have like other script, other payload from the simple disabling Windows Defender to power reverse shell, recrawl, could be very fun to see. The only advice I give you is like before using this kind of script, read the code. Seriously, like for example here, you see that there is nothing d dangerous, nothing harmful, but you got the point. You are in internet um, and in hacking, the main vector is the human. It's not the machine. It's way more easy to trick you than to really hack you. Anyway, I hope you liked. Have a good day and see you soon.